If you skip this video, you might regret it later. My beloved child, I'm here for you today. But before we begin this important message, please take a moment to share it with others. Understanding the spiritual guidance in the Bible can help us navigate our lives with wisdom and protection. Together, we can help spread this crucial wisdom to those who need it. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, today we delve into the Word of God to explore some of the most critical spiritual guidance He has given us. These divine insights are not only historical but deeply relevant to our lives today. They serve as guidance to keep us on the path of righteousness and away from harm. Let us open our hearts and minds to these messages and learn how to apply them in our daily walk with the Lord. One of the first pieces of guidance we encounter in the Bible is the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. God commanded them not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, but they chose to disobey. But you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it you will certainly give up, Genesis 2 verse 17. This story teaches us that disobedience to God's commands brings severe consequences. When we stray from His instructions, we open ourselves to negative outcomes. Let us commit to obeying God's Word in every aspect of our lives. Type, Lord, help me to obey your commands, to affirm your commitment to following God's Word. Another crucial piece of guidance from the Bible is the call to avoid idolatry. The Israelites repeatedly fell into idol worship, leading to their downfall. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below, Exodus 20 verse 3 to 4. Idolatry diverts our worship from the true God and leads us into spiritual adultery. This guidance reminds us to keep our focus on God alone and not let anything take His place in our hearts. Let us examine our lives and remove any idols that may have taken root. Type, I worship you alone, Lord, to affirm your dedication to God. In the teachings of Jesus, we find warnings about the dangers of loving money and material possessions. This is particularly relevant in our consumer-driven society. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money, Matthew 6 verse 24. The love of money can lead to greed, corruption, and a departure from faith. We are called to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, trusting that He will provide for our needs. Let us prioritize our spiritual well-being over material wealth. Type, I trust in your provision, Lord, to declare your trust in God's provision over material wealth. The Bible frequently cautions us about false prophets and teachers who can lead us astray with their deceptive teachings. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravenous wolves, Matthew 7 verse 15. False prophets appear genuine, but their teachings contradict the truth of the gospel. We must test every teaching against scripture and be vigilant in our discernment. Let us pray for wisdom and guidance to recognize and avoid false teachings. Type, give me discernment, Lord, to seek God's wisdom in recognizing false teachings. In the book of Revelation, Jesus addresses the church in Laodicea about being lukewarm in their faith. So, because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth, Revelation 3 verse 16. Lukewarm faith is neither passionate nor committed, and it displeases God. We are called to be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord with zeal and dedication. Let us reignite our passion for God and commit to a wholehearted relationship with Him. Type, Ignite my faith, Lord, to commit to a passionate and dedicated walk with God. Pride is another sin that the Bible repeatedly cautions against. It can lead to our downfall if not checked. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall, Proverbs 16 verse 18. Pride blinds us to our faults and leads us to rely on our own strength rather than God's. 
Humility is essential for maintaining a right relationship with God and others. Let us strive to remain humble and recognize our dependence on God's grace. Type, Keep me humble, Lord, to seek humility in guard against pride. The author of Hebrews speaks about the importance of not neglecting the great salvation offered through Jesus Christ. How shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? Hebrews 2 verse 3. This guidance is a call to recognize and value the salvation provided through Christ. Neglecting it leads to eternal separation from God. We must cherish and nurture our relationship with Jesus, ensuring that it remains central in our lives. Type, Thank you for my salvation, Lord, to express gratitude for the gift of salvation. Understanding these pieces of spiritual guidance is crucial for our spiritual well-being and growth. God provides these insights out of His love for us, to guide us and protect us from harm. It is our responsibility to heed these teachings and to share this wisdom with others. By sharing this message, you are helping others recognize the pitfalls that can lead them away from God and encouraging them to stay on the path of righteousness. Let us also consider the profound message of the parable of the prodigal son. The story illustrates the boundless grace and forgiveness of our Heavenly Father. When we stray from His path, He eagerly awaits our return with open arms. But while He was still a long way off, His Father saw Him and was filled with compassion for Him, He ran to His Son, threw His arms around Him and kissed Him Luke 15 verse 20. This guidance teaches us about the importance of repentance and the assurance of God's forgiveness. No matter how far we have wandered, we can always come back to Him. Type, Thank you for your forgiveness, Lord, to acknowledge God's mercy and grace. Reflecting on the story of Jonah, we see the consequences of running from God's calling. Jonah's reluctance to obey God's command led to a tumultuous journey, but ultimately, he fulfilled God's mission. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you, Jonah 3 verse 1 to 2. This narrative reminds us that God has a purpose for each of us, and running from His call leads to unnecessary struggles. Let us embrace His calling and trust in His plans for our lives. Type, I will follow your calling, Lord, to affirm your commitment to God's purpose for you. Consider also the message from the story of Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel's unwavering faith and refusal to compromise his devotion to God, even in the face of death, exemplify the strength and protection that come from staying true to our faith. My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me, because I was found innocent in his sight, Daniel 6 verse 22. This story encourages us to remain steadfast in our faith, no matter the circumstances, knowing that God is our protector. Type, Strengthen my faith, Lord, to ask for courage and perseverance in your spiritual journey. The Bible also teaches us about the importance of being vigilant and prepared for the return of Christ. In the parable of the ten virgins, Five were wise and kept their lamps filled with oil, while the other five were foolish and unprepared. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour, Matthew 25 verse 13. This guidance emphasizes the necessity of spiritual readiness and living in anticipation of Jesus' return. Let us live our lives in a state of constant readiness, nurturing our relationship with God and spreading His love. Type Keep me ready, Lord, to express your desire to live in preparation for Christ's return. Lastly, let us not forget the powerful message of the Great Commission. Jesus instructs us to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them to obey everything He has commanded. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20, this guidance reminds us of our responsibility to share the gospel and bring others into the fold of Christ. Let us be bold in our witness and fervent in our efforts to spread the good news. Type, 
I will share your gospel, Lord, to commit to spreading the message of Christ. Brothers and sisters, take these teachings to heart. Reflect on them, pray over them, and apply them to your lives. Share this message with those around you, so they too can benefit from the wisdom and protection of God's Word. Understanding these spiritual insights is crucial for our spiritual well-being and growth. God provides these teachings out of His love for us, to guide us and protect us from harm. It is our responsibility to heed these teachings and to share this wisdom with others. By sharing this message, you are helping others recognize the pitfalls that can lead them away from God and encouraging them to stay on the path of righteousness. May God bless you and keep you as you walk in His ways, heed His teachings, and share His love with the world. Thank you for joining us today. Remain blessed.